It was a race 26-year-old Joey Fetchy never got to finish. More than 20 miles in, as the course winds through Shelby Bottoms, Fetchy collapsed and later died at the hospital. In addition to running, he was chef de cuisine at Yolan, a high-end Italian restaurant in the Joseph Hotel. He was in charge of crafting and setting the menus. One of his co-workers described him as a true storyteller in the kitchen. While it may be a long time before we know why Joey never made it here to the finish line of the race, we are hearing from a racer who said the water stops along the route just weren't operating the way they should be. I've done this race about 10 times and I've never seen the issues at this race like I had with the water. Victoria Landy ran the race Saturday and says there weren't enough water tables and cups set out, so it created quite the delay. I'm a runner who's cautious of my time, so I kind of looked and I was waiting at some stations for 30 seconds to get a cup of water. The problem being a lot of competitive runners may decide to just skip hydration altogether to keep their pace. If they're really trying to go for a personal record, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep running. She also had problems with the electrolytes the marathon provided. These are just some gels. These are the ones they gave out at the race. Landy says the race provided different brands than what they posted online. A lot of runners will say you're never supposed to try something new on race day. So if a runner's coming through and they see a different type of electrolyte than what they've had, they're also probably not going to try it out. Which means some runners may have avoided some stops. It's unclear if any of these problems had anything to do with Joey's medical situation, but either way, Victoria thinks race organizers should make adjustments for next year. You can't mess up the water. Water is so important. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.